Welcome to another episode of Soul Align Success. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the number one things I see holding spiritual entrepreneurs back from coming into complete soul alignment with their spiritual business. You're building a spiritual business, a soul aligned business. What does that mean? What does it mean to be connected to your soul? What does it mean to be in alignment with your soul? What this ultimately means is that you are not in your thoughts. You are not in your mind. You are not trying to figure it out. You're not in what I call analysis paralysis, which is what I see catching so many spiritual entrepreneurs up from really coming into soul alignment with their mission, their purpose, who they're here to serve, the programs they're here to create, and everything that goes along with their spiritual business. The number one thing that's getting in their way is total analysis paralysis and overthinking it, trying to connect all the dots in advance, trying to figure it out. If you're quote unquote trying to figure it out, you are in your mind. You are not connected to the beingness that is your soul. And so my advice for you today is short and sweet, but to build a soul aligned business, you have to be connected to your soul, which means you have to be more in the present moment. You have to be out of your mind. You have to be in your heart space. You have to be willing to trust the fucking process and get out of your head. You need to trust your guidance. You need to trust the downloads that are coming through. You need to trust the wisdom that's coming through. You need to trust your mission. You need to trust yourself. You need to trust how you're being led. You need to trust all of this and you need to get out of your head and into your heart. And what happens when you fully, fully trust and you start to take action on the things that are coming through and you create space to receive them to begin with, then you are in soul alignment. But if you are constantly in what I call analysis paralysis, constantly trying to figure it out, trying, you know, to logically make sense of, of the next stage, like let's say you're creating a program and you're constantly trying to figure it out from the mental body instead of being in your heart space, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna be in misalignment. You're gonna be able to tell because you're gonna have an underlying level of frustration. You're gonna have an underlying level of unsettledness. It's gonna feel like a disconnect. And for those of you that this is resonating with, I, already know, I know you already know what that feels like. But here's the other thing, when you create from that place of over analysis paralysis, trying to figure it out, trying to say, let's say um, to yourself, well, maybe I should create this because this is what so-and-so I think would purchase. Or maybe I should create this because this is the way um, someone else is doing it. Or I'm gonna do it this way because this makes logical sense. This reasoning and this rationale is getting in the way of your intuitive guidance system. And when you create from that place, what you have is not a soul aligned business. And here's the thing, everything you create from that place is going to fall flat. Your messaging around is gonna call, fall flat. You're not gonna call in your soulmate clients. Um, you're not gonna bring in the sales because you're not gonna be in complete soul alignment. So even if you were to make sales at it, it would still feel off to you. It would not feel like soul aligned success. Soul aligned success feels like peace. It feels like ease. It feels like flow. It doesn't feel like work and it doesn't feel like you have to figure it out. It feels like allowing and it feels like receiving and it feels like trusting and it feels like taking action on the information and the downloads and the guidance that you're receiving. And I am no exception to this rule. I am split right down the center. I have an equally um, strong intuitive side to me and an equally strong analytical logical side to me. And so it's very easy for me to get stuck in analysis paralysis, I like to call it, overthinking, overanalyzing, um, letting that stall out in procrastination and then creating something from that place that falls flat and doesn't light my soul up and doesn't connect the way it should and it isn't magnetized it isn't magnetizing to my soulmate clients because the breakdown was 
me getting in my head and overthinking and not trusting the process. So at any point in time, if there's a breakdown of you being in complete soul alignment when building your business and building out your programs and building out your services or your messaging, um, or who you're here to serve, if there is a breakdown in any one of those areas, then you're gonna be out of alignment. And so it's really, really easy to get stuck in this trap, especially as, you know, business, right, requires some logical, analytical skills, right? And so it's really easy to get trapped in that. But this is a sabotaging tendency that keeps you from receiving. And really what it boils down to is a lack of trust, a lack of truly trusting the guidance, because if you're resonating with this, I know you're already receiving the downloads and you're already receiving the guidance. Um, sometimes it might feel like you're not, but that's only because you're blocking it. And so you're not open to it, but that's how you can tell um, when that's happening is because you're feeling a level of frustration and a feeling of unsettledness. And once you back, once you open back up to trusting, you will feel the ease and you will feel the flow and you will feel the lightness that comes with coming back into alignment. Okay, so I just wanted to share this with you because this is a very common thing if this is something that is tripping you up and I want to save you the headaches, the time and the and the energy to um, create something that eventually is only going to fall flat or something that you're not going to be able to energetically get your you know, get behind because it is not in soul alignment, which is what happens when you build out stuff that is not in soul alignment. At the end of the day, you're not energetically able to get behind it the same way that you would if it was completely in alignment. And this will make a difference in the people you attract and the sales and the revenue and the, and the impact and the growth and all of that. And so I wanted to leave you with this today. If this resonates with you, I invite you to watch my Soul Align Success Masterclass. You can watch that. Um, there's a link in the comments or caption below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. You can also find it in my URL on Instagram at Spiritual CEO. And I look forward to bringing you another episode very soon. Namaste.